20 times 1 minus t. And we can actually plot um, along here where this is the probability of the good event happening, and this is our given expected value. Um, and what we would expect in this case is we would have some value at 20 uh, here, because at 0%, it's all going to be bad. And we're going to have some other value here at 100%. And there's going to be there's going to be some linear relationship between those two. And what we did is we just picked out this particular point right here, which was 60%. And this is what we said the expected value of that node actually was. And so what we can do is we, we have not just this as part of our tree, but we can have other things. And we can com compare. There, there's another decision that we made. And its expected value is maybe right here. That's the, the, the other decision that's part of this tree over here. Its expected value is right here. And by doing this right here, we can see that as long as the probability is above this point right here, it makes more sense to choose this option instead of choosing this option because we're going to get a higher expected value. And so the sensitivity analysis then just asks itself, well, this is some low value, P of PL, how confident do we feel that our probability is truly larger than this absolute value here? As long as we, it is, then we know for sure that we should stick with this. But if our confidence, if this piece of L is, is right here, real close to that 60%, and we're really not sure about that, that should inform our decision making. Like the inspected value says it's this, but it might actually be lower because we're just really not good at predicting this. This is, this is something that's really outside of our expertise or it, it, it's got a, a wide range of uncertainty, whatever the, the situation may be. And so um, this is applying sensitivity analysis in a decision-making context rather than in a linear programming context that we talked about earlier in the semester. I'm sorry to go over. If there's more questions, I'll pick those up on, on Friday. I will uh, I'll see you guys then. Can you stop the uh, video for me, please?